My name is Virginie van Haverbeek. I'm one of the coordinators of the Russell Tribunal on Palestine. I work from the offices in Belgium. I've been involved with the Russell Tribunal since its very beginning, uh, when it was just a meeting with 10 very interesting people who wanted to do something new uh, for Palestine, thinking that uh, since there's been the ICG ruling, everybody had thought, you know, the wall is illegal, it's a very high top way to say it and something is going to happen and actually nothing happened. So these people gathered and thought what can we do now and actually what they thought is that Israel has been accused of so many things, it's been proven that it's, it's not respecting international law in so many ways and nothing happens. Why? Because there is lots of complicity and the idea was to build up this Russell Tribunal based on highlighting the complicity of third parties, of states, of uh, corporations and of the United Nations who are not actually upholding the law. And so the Russell Tribunal was imagined into different sessions where we would focus on different issues. Now, this was not an easy thing. I mean, today we're in New York, we have high celebrities coming there, we're gonna have a, a place that's packed of people. We've not have had so much attention up to now. We've, had, we've done good work up to now and we're very proud of ourselves, but we really feel like it's, it's taking its place. And uh, it's been four years now since the first event we organized. And uh, we feel that uh, the attention is rising and that uh, we get gaining credibility on what we're doing. And I, one of the reasons for which I really believe in what we're doing is that I think we're doing it in a, in a soft way. We're using international law. We're using some things that everybody can agree on. And, and so we're talking to a lot of people. Of course, all the activists are with us. They're here in the room, they're preparing the meeting and they're, they're supporters. But I think that also we can talk to, our, one of our objectives is to talk to a, a much larger public and to say, hey, you know, what's, what's happening is not normal. If you thought it wasn't normal in South African apartheid, well, this is not normal either for Palestine. And you should rise and say it. And even if with our conclusions and with all the work to do, we have a hard time having real responses and changes of policies from governments, we think that with all these proofs and all these elements, and we're talking to civil society, we're talking to a lot of people, and these people are really more and more with our work, also with many other people's work. We're feeling that uh, as we go, we're getting more and more attention, and I hope this is going to be a great session, a great session with great people, and also, I mean, with meaningful conclusions, highlighting the, the responsibility, the high responsibility of the United States in its complicity regarding Israel's violations of international law, and also the very important role of the United Nations to not only just do very good resolutions, but make sure that they're being implemented. And uh, that's what we're working towards. And this is where I want to conclude. <laughs>